Hey guys, so the best way to get new items in the game is by sharing your catalog with your friends or other players in the game. Now this can be done by literally just sharing an item with another person so that it un unlocks in their catalog as we've done in this video right here. You can see I'm in the shop here. These items here, once you've ever picked up one, it will basically go to your Nook shopping section there and you'll be able to purchase it forever. So if you need one, all you got to do is get a friend over with a bunch of items and you pick up some items. What we've done is I've got nine items. He's He's got nine items. Jeremy's on my island here from Elysium today. And we're basically going to put down our items in each of these different booths. And, you know, we're going to trade. Well, not trade them. We're going to just drop them. And then I'm going to go pick up all of his items. He's going to pick up all of mine. And then we're going to drop them all again. And what this will have done is it will basically take all of those items that we pick up that we did not have before that we've never picked up or had access to before. Like example, this Imperial Chest or Imperial Partition. Now, when I go pick up the items on his side, I'll basically unlock all of these items in my own catalog nook shopping area. So double sofa, I already have that. Rice cooker is new. I don't have one of those. The antique console table, I don't have one of those at all. A record box, I don't think I have one of those. Simple kettle, I don't have one of those. Espresso maker, I don't want. I don't have one of those either. Bathroom tile rack, that's new to me. Uh, tankless toilet, I do have. And the den desk, I do not have. So you can see now, I'm going to go back to my Nook shopping section. And we'll see all these items are available in my catalog for purchase. So back at Nook Shopping here, you can see the antique console table is now available here for 17,000 bells. As you can see at the beginning of the video, that item was not in this list. So is that bathroom tile rack. That's pretty new. Um, the broom and dustpan is not actually new, but I thought it was. I just, I just didn't recognize it. But you can see all these new items that are here are now available for purchase. I can buy them. I don't lose any of my own items. I just shared them with my friend Jeremy and he shared his items with me. He doesn't lose any of his. We've got the den desk here. So this is all pretty good. All you have to do is put the items back on the ground for your friend to, well, take back, you know, because all you're doing is picking them up to unlock them in your catalog and then giving them back on the ground back to the person who owns the item so that you can, you know, proceed with life and now have access to buying a whole bunch of new items. So if you could organize a group of friends to get together or even some community online on a Discord or something to kind of have a catalog party similar to this, we, we just did it with two people, me and him. If you can do something like this, it's actually a really great way to get multiple items in the game and like large amounts of items in the game. So I hope this guide kind of helps you to get new items on your island and help decorate more. It's definitely a way to get access to different things. I mean, we even noticed that I have different color Godzilla versus his one like my Godzilla is pink his one's black like why is mine pink what the hell <laughs> but anyway I found that very interesting that that kind of thing happens in the game but it does create a need for actually you know connecting with the community online to get new access to different things in the game it's actually it's actually really cool so it's, it's a great way to encourage people to do multiplayer and online and visit other people other people's islands and get new things I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a future Animal Crossing video thanks for watching